morning everybody welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel in today's episode we will be continuing the curry so without further ado let's just jump straight into the episode i will be doing you watching the movie more from where you left off continues the previous single player save i'm confused a little bit Okay, uh, I think it's this one. I'm sure you want to. Yeah. This, this game makes me second doubt myself. <laughs> anyway, without further ado, I will just try to recap real quick. We were playing as Laura and Max. They were trying to get to the Hawkins Quarry. They decided to get into the basement when th things started to get a little yeah. bit wild. I mean, you never know. The universe has a kind of way of uh, working these things out. The universe? Yeah, like the uh, the cosmic space gods. Space gods. You heard me? Okay, spell it. It's nothing to spell. You know, we're cool. Oh, so cool. We are super cool. So she dumped her ass, huh? <laughs> okay, quit it. Hi, Emma. <laughs> okay, this is um You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh BLM and grab the last couple of bags, will ya? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. And that is the basement where stuffs went wild. So yeah, that is pretty much it actually so i don't know let's just try go around talk with everybody else and see what we can get out of them i guess hello hey what are you uh what are you listening to good to know Very nice when people are being very cooperative. Ah, uh, where is Emma though? Like she went here and then poof, vanished. I'm also wondering who these people are. And as in the previous episode, uh, I said like, what happened to Laura and Max? Are they dead or? Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's, it's. I gotta get the last bags What's in there. Come wrong on. with this thing? It's just. Dylan, broken. please. Sorry, <laughs> guy. Uh, cool. Thanks, guys. Okay. No worries, guy. We can just probably break a window and get in. from there and not to mention that in the previous episode where we came here like there was a lot of dripping which i i personally assumed there was blood but what's this hackett's quarry summer camp esd 1953 okay good stuff however not the reason i am here oh that's so Pretty, pretty, pretty view. Ha! <laughs> Got him. Better close the window next time if you don't want me in. Oh, skill. <laughs> parkour. Parkour, parkour. Hmm. Ugh. Horror. Horror. I I like horror, but it's like I don't know. It's just what it is. It's pretty scary. Okay. Trying to pay a bit more attention because in the last episode there's a lady that oh, 
is doing tarot reading and she was pissed. I didn't find her tarot card. Therefore, I'll be attempt to find them. Okay. Nothing there, nothing there. Interesting. Is it? I found it! Oh my god, kitchen. It's terrible. Probably not wanting. Uh, too much around with that. Oh, there they are. Why are we the chore boy? <laughs> like, that's the real question. How did we end up with this job? Alright. Got the bags. Great. All by yourself, huh? Yep. <laughs> Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Um, mind your own business. You know what? What about oh, you? Okay, so now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just gotta take, Jake. Oh, oh sorry, I just got so distracted about that rhyme, I forgot what we oh, were... Oh, no, 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 uh, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? <laughs> ah, sexy, huh? Hot as that camp, by far. Okay, sure. Uh, look, it was all settled by the girls in Bunk 7, like, second day of camp. It goes Ryan, me of course, then Dylan, Emma, Abby, Okay. Nick, and then Mr. H, and... Okay, are you almost finished? Please... Yep, that's it. That's everyone. So she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't... Okay. Her whole thing is like, how are we going to make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she has got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? <laughs> oh, my God. Um. Okay, okay, you know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe she does have, like, this superpower over me. But you know what? Maybe I like it. <laughs> oh, likes it. Check. Totally not in denial. Oh, Check. Okay. Wow, the um the fumes of, of jealousy are just stifling over here. Excuse me? I'm just saying, I guess some girls don't have what it takes to hang with the big dog. You're a real charmer, you know that? <laughs> I like him. Look, I'm just saying, I don't know why you didn't make a move on Ryan. You should have seized the moment. <sighs> well, can't seize a moment that never happened. Yeah, well, you can't wait for it to come to you. You gotta make the moment happen yourself. Oh, right. Chase the moment around all summer like a dog with two dicks until it dumps you on the last day of camp. Okay. I'm not gonna miss you, Caitlin. <laughs> okay, oh, so God. are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> Uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was, like, a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. 
And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake, Don't do it. You do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. Don't do it. Don't be stupid. Find out. <sighs> Break. I'll steal it. Because breaking it and stealing it is two different things, and stealing it is not so bad. As long as he has it, we should be good. We can go out still whenever we please. Come on with me, buddy. I'll put you right back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. Exactly. Up here, my dudes. Why do they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D don't, go don't. long. Oh, dick! No! <sighs> oh, come on, man! I'm so sorry, Jacob. Rough. Hey, maybe uh, you should have put it in airplane mode. <laughs> Funny. Oh, shit. What's up, man? Shut the fuck up. Oh, yeah, no, no <laughs> doubt, no doubt. <laughs> God damn, my mom's gonna kill me. Your mom? Oh, yeah, to, uh, to tell her I say hi. <laughs> I'll pay to fix it as soon as we're back, man. Well, it's bricked. Crap. Oh, thank God. Huh. Not a peep. Either got zero signal, or everybody's already forgotten I exist. Meh. 50 /50. You know what? Whatever. I can go one more day without a phone. Day? The drive's not that far. You know what I mean? Where is everybody else? I do think she knows why, what you Why mean. would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any chick he wants. Okay, yeah, keep dreaming, Junior. <sighs> Good stuff. Still haven't found Emma. Still wonder where she at. Cute and talented, holy moly. I wish I could draw like that too, because that's just straight out impressive. Hey there, party bear. Status report We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. There we go. Oh boy. You're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean. Shape our way through this crappy rock and grab our bags. Mm. You know what? This is the last day. Okay. Let's do it. We better not get in trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? He'll just think it was a bear or something. <laughs> Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One, two, three! Mm. All about the power of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always <laughs> right. Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh, my God, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. All right. Oh, this was little Izzy's. That's cute. I want 
I'll give it. Why Let's not? Give you back to Izzy. She's cute. I like her quite a lot, actually. So far, I like all of them. <sighs> Let's see. Oh, God. Do we find anything else? Why would this place be in the news? Hmm. Why not? It's a good place. Oh, oh my Can't god. I'm actually gonna miss all those lumpy loose springs. Okay, that's pretty much it. Fantastic. I really like the view. It's pretty. It's really pretty. And the cabins are also fabulous. I don't know, I feel like a summer camp is so cool. Never been to one, but the idea of it is pretty cool. My goodness. But yeah, how is everybody day going? For whoever is watching, I really have your... <laughs> I hope you're having a beautiful and amazing day. All of a sudden, I kind of do not know how to speak anymore. <laughs> and you know what? That is fine. Sometimes you do be like that. Can I open this? Definitely not. Uh, where am I supposed to go? There is Emma. I don't think anyone knocked Caitlin out of first place all summer. <laughs> I mean, Caitlin do be seeming like the competitive type, so, you know. Doesn't surprise me that she's number one. Ready to roll? Let's do it. Finally. Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so dramatic? Annoying. <laughs> Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No, <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Oh, oh fuck! Oh. Eyes on the road, lady. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Still struggling to understand those. I don't know what I have okay, to so do. <laughs> hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud, kind of like you and Jacob? He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But that's us. You and Nick could be different. When do you get his handle? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? Fuck it. Yes. Sure. What's the victory? Two months. No technology. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. 
Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. <laughs> mm. You know what? I actually believe you. Abby, was that a compliment? Your charm is infectious. What can I say? <laughs> I'd subscribe. <laughs> you better. As soon as you get home, sub, share, smash that like button. The holy trinity. Okay, well, now I'm really regretting it. Definitely. No, you love me. <laughs> They're really cute. I really like them. My favorite spot? The fire pit? The island. Mad secluded, right? Is, is that smoke? Should we tell someone? Mm, it Interesting. looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should, we should probably, you know, get back. Oh yeah, worried Nick's, you know, gonna leave it at you. Well, no, they're probably like all waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick, waiting for you. All, everyone, same. <laughs> Word. Yeah, no, that is definitely not Mr. H. No, you just straight up give it away. Say whatever you want, but that was no Mr. H, alright? Don't worry, Corey Jacob, I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude. Okay, this place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. <laughs> it's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, ew. <sighs> hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up onto the. Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me um, let me get it for you. I can take uh, care of my own bag, thank you. Are you sure? Because I mean, it's really not that big. She of a can deal. take care of her own bag, thank you. We can both take care of our own bag, thank you. Cool. Ugh. Poor guy. Uh, uh, Abby, do you need? Yeah. Can I? Thank you. <laughs> Yay! I really hope this year and us together. Cause they're cute. I mean, he also seems that he's into her, but they're both really shy, and that's so fucking adorable. Hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh, yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast about you? Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. <gasps> At least I don't look and smell like a butt. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. Th this episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? <laughs> what's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? <laughs> Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, and smell the love in here. Oh, can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's um, they're supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. They're like 
reports of whispers <laughs> or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haga, it's Corey. <laughs> you made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. Mm. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time you told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for <laughs> life. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. We're up to it. Get those butts in gear. Hold on. Sorry, Mr. H. You had to liberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies' ball as ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? Isn't he the, the actor of um, <gasps> Dewey from Scream? Like, he hey, looks like it. Thank you, Mr. H. Well, yes, I do. But you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Cool, cool, yeah. No worries. Good man. Uh, no big deal. You can share my earbuds. That's cute. Okay, so far, so, so uh, good. Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh-oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> No, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm going to have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello. I feel like eavesdropping is wrong, but like, what if he has something important? What? Because kids are kids. You don't need to do so much with them. They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have. Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's a okay on this end. This is a waste of time. You know it, I know it. No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Try staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah, of course. Adios. He's a mess. Sorry, I, I wasn't... I wasn't listening. I, I was just like waiting. Like I mean, I heard. I, I mean, I was. I didn't hear what you were. Saying. We're cool, champ. Just come on in. Sorry, I pushed you out like that. You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy. You know. Anyway, you were asking me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents, since I'd have to live on campus, you know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, Ryan. True. Dang it. This is important to me. Is everything okay? 
Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> so, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, of these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories? Oh, shit. Uh. Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Gotta understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? Kumbaya. What's that? You guys don't do kumbaya anymore? What? Good no grief. way. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. <laughs> That's like a classic. Even I Just know it. What's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. What's so important before the sun goes down? Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Just give me a minute. Where in the good goddamn are they? Oh my god. Playing this game without any sound is just so exhausting. He sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. <sighs> but I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Hey! Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. I didn't even get to look around his office. Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure did turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. <laughs> I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good, because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it, let's go. What's the problem? Ugh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right? It's busted. Well, maybe you're doing well, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. Shit. Come on. All right, dude, Come on. chill. Chill, go. dude. My God. Damn it. I thought I told you kids to check everything. No, we did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Damn it! Oh my god, he's mad mad. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Damn it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Oh my what? god. Yeah, you're right. Wait. Got him. Ha! <laughs> hey, Brown. Come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. Sure. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? I will be at that thing. Yeah. Sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. Why is he freaking out so badly? So... What was that about? He, uh... Said to stay inside. That we're not leaving until the morning. Are... You kidding me? Um... Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well... We should go inside, like he said. We could go inside. Until morning. Yeah. Or... Or we could do something else. Ah, uh, no. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. He already seemed angry, so. Who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. P A R T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. No. Uh, uh... Dude. Fuck yes. I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm... <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um... <coughs> like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? Uh, he did seem freaked out. He was just concerned for us. I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. <sighs> yeah, dude, he won't even know. I, I promised. I no, 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 D dude, dude. It's all good. All right, we get it. You know, you uh, you don't want to disappoint Daddy. You did not just say that. Whatever, man. It's gonna be fine, man. Trust me. It's gonna be chill. All right, all right, all right, Hacketeers. Party planning committee, let's do this. Um, okay, first things first. Nick and Abby, you go get some firewood. Uh, Emma and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, she I don't know, figure out how to charge the phone. so obsessed. Something. <laughs> all right, let's do this. Actually a little bit sad. My God.
What does it say? Hunting... Hunting season. Hmm. Wondering why. <gasps> it's her! I was hoping you'd come back to me. Let's see what you've found. Are you proud of me? Temperance. <laughs> to be balanced. To consume in moderation. Or to indulge in excess. Temperance. Take it or leave it. But remember, sometimes, with temperance comes deferred gratification. There's more I can show you. If you like. Yes, ma'am. Uh, see more. I was hoping you'd say that. You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. So shotgun shells, mm. take them. Look out for my cards. Will do. Aye, aye, miss ma'am. Will not disappoint you, I promise. <laughs> Truth or dare? And that is chapter one. My little stars, like I said in the previous episode, and I will say it again, I will do one chapter per episode, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Like, so far, I'm uh, not entirely sure if I'm gonna keep it on one chapter. I might make it every two chapters according to the action, but we'll see. Anyway, if you're gonna see me in, like... A clip, I guess, where I'm like having different clothes, then you get the gist of it. That means I put chapter two in it. However, the curry second episode, because the first one was more like an epilogue. And yeah, we got to know a little bit more about the characters. We got to learn that some of them are incredibly stupid by stealing part of the car that should not be stolen ever. But it is what it is, everybody. However, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did and would like this for me, please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to see whenever I upload. I love every single one of you that come across my video, and I hope I'll see you next one.